Hey, 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 y'all. Welcome to Side Life's TV, where I'm going to do a makeup tutorial for you today, the side way. So please like, subscribe, and hit the bell down below if you want more alerts when your girl posts videos. So let's get right to it, boo. Okay, guys, so I'm going to do a quick little makeup tutorial, something really fast, really quick. Um, I get asked, how do you do makeup? I'm not professional. I just kind of learned as I went, kind of played with my face or whatever. So, um, but I do get asked, so this is going to be a quick little tutorial. Um, I already did my brows because that's the most time consuming I feel for my makeup. So I am going to use, um, I did use the L'Oreal brow cream and it does come with this and the little brow shapener or whatever brush the brow brush so um you can get that at walmart um walgreens cvs whatever it's just local drugstore and then i did do my concealer under my eyebrows and on top and then i did um buy the fit me concealer you can also get that from walmart um and then i went in with the urban decay for my shadow to help it um stay last longer just make your colors pop i did um use that uh i don't know if it's okay, I'm just gonna focus on it but uh, right there so by the old urban decay um primer i use that on me so next step this is the beauty sponge that I use, and the little technique that I do, I um wet the sponge, make it a little damp, just because I feel like it helps the makeup stick to my face, even though that's what primer is for, um, which is, you know, good as well, but I just feel like this technique kind of helps the makeup stick and adhere to your face even more when you're putting it on. Um, like I said, this is going to be like a quick little drugstore makeup tutorial. I love the foundation from walmart for like drugstore foundations is the fit me um foundation i use the um matte poreless and the colors i have here is uh cappuccino and um warm sun i use these two together because my skin has different like i have light spots i have more tanner spots like here and here it's just just different you know spots that uh, i feel like if i blend these together it goes really well together so i am going to use these and get right to it so this is okay so i am going to do my shadow since my eyes are already primed um i am using the palette by uh alice in wonderland looking palette i like that um it comes a little sorry my skin is got but it comes with a little, little cute little butterfly in the inside um i do like this palette because i like the colors in it as you can tell i've been using it a lot um i also like the naked palette but um i gotta go get another one of those so um but this is the palette that i'm gonna use to do my shadow and I don't even know which shadows I want to start off with, but I do go under with the little brush one, and I go under to kind of like just tone down that concealer that's under my eyes, give it a neutral little base to start with. As you can see, I like tone it down a little bit. I'm gonna give it a, new, a natural color base just to get rid of that concealer look. Sorry guys, I'm gonna keep looking over here to the mirror and then you guys can see. I'm going to go 
how the all three colors kind of come together so just a really cute simple neutral look um yeah so this is it um actually i need to go and fix this is it this way Every eye is different, so you just learn to, you know, work that. So, next step, I'm going to start putting my foundation on. So, I put some on my hand um, just to kind of work with just a little fair amount. I don't never really use all that, I just do it just to be cautious. So, I'm gonna um, start working. Try to put all my hair under here. Start working on my foundation. Again, I told you guys, I the technique I use, I wet the sponge just because that is what I feel helps adhere the mace, the mace, excuse me, the makeup to my skin with the primer. So that's just kind of what I do. So I start going in, and I know it seems like it looks like a lot but as i start blending all this it won't be trust 
make sure the children in the house she's inappropriate the way she's approaching us i disassociate the renegotiate she's closing up come to visit me she said that she's the lonely us and it's hard to open up open you up like a and then go under the eye. There. Get that really good coverage. And see, for a store bought brand, um, like a Walmart or drugstore makeup, it really covers. And it looks great. So, the top here, and I do kind of like that. I don't feel like I put too much because I don't want me looking like my like makeup is funeral makeup. You feel me? Just go in and go. Quick little. Whoops. Go in and obviously I use my sides because I don't want to. So I'm trying to get close to my brows. Possibly. I'm kind of squeezing my sponge in between and go. In between that and bring in that. Because you don't want that lines from the concealer showing up. And just keep it. And if you feel like you need more coverage, go in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I like get here because I tend to line up a lot no matter what makeup I use from Bare Minerals anything I kind of do still always line up there and that's another reason why I use the damp sponge technique because it keeps that from kind of happening in my face so I'm gonna keep doing this and just get it really blend it i go a little bit right here now it was on my neck i hate when people do that. i just kind of just blend it so it just don't have that off look and just blend it as much as possible see as you can tell it really blends here with my skin so that's another reason and you know what i've gotten lighter because it's winter so i might not need to go in with my other tan color that i usually use to kind of make it more you know like my skin so I'm not tan, I'm light because of the winter. And you just make sure you blend as much as possible. And then we're gonna go in, contour the face. I do my lashes last after I do all of this and I'll put the lashes on. First impression, um, you so you just wanna make sure, I'm gonna look in the mirror, make sure I got all my coverage. As much as possible. Close to the hairline. So you don't have any off. Color is really easy, but you can tell even by my ear. Like, you see what I'm saying? This is not a big color difference. It's well blended. Like I said again, fit me from Walmart, Nat Poreless. That is good. It's a good grab. Um, now this is what I have for. This is what I use for like. I didn't use the highlight. I used the concealer as you saw by Fit Me for my contouring for my um, highlight for the bridge of my nose I do look a couple dots for my chin but not really extend my forehead because I have a huge forehead so I try not to create it I'll put a little bit but not too much and then I'll use the highlight contour um, I believe I did also get this by from Walmart I guess the company is hard candy um, I don't know if you can see that um, yeah so it's highlight con contour and it's hard candy uh, sorry it's to see it. so i use this i know i'm almost running out but i use that darker part to go in for my contour so let's just get right to it mm -hmm. Here and yes, it will look right, but you know, and then I just do a little. Oh, I try to put too much of the cup, do a little triangle right there because I don't, like I said, want too much. Yes, hunty. And then I am going to 
to blend blend so I try to do my chin blend that out Ooh. and then I go in top of my nose blend that blend 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 and then try to blend it as much as possible and I just kind of fair the fan this out like I said I have a huge forehead so I do not want to accent that part of me so I'm just gonna go a little tiny one right here and then like turn this to the side and blend it out kind of dab some of that to control but blend blend and as you can tell good baby honey look at that nose okay so then you want to go in here and dab 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 and yeah you're gonna look crazy at first. super crazy but the process will come together and i'm pretty mine up because baby i want that top pop okay i want that cheekbone to pop honey so i'm going to mm -hmm. and try to not ooh, put that in my eye go to uh and i'm going to take the size and i'm going to get out because i don't want lines you never want lines in your makeup so let's see how i just blend it out and it just blends honey it just blends okay you want to just keep you want to do this out and i'll see i'm gonna blend that don't come for me i'm not done okay you want to blend 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 if you open uh, engaging is on my agenda. And most likely I'm gonna do a voiceover this because who wants to sit and wait 30 minutes of somebody talking for my cook to tour? You know, you gotta speed up the process. So I'm gonna put it back. Going up the smoke, smoking up, make sure the children and the ashes in the propia, the way she's approaching us. But I am doing this. So once I do that, I'm gonna go in and get my nose and balloon that part right here into my nose. Oh, oh, honey, balloon, balloon that into your nose and look at the contour coming to life. And this is what I do, guys. I don't like to fill my whole face with Open just up. so much stuff. And then I blend it out. Like, blend it And then so once you do that, you want to go in and get you a nice blending brush. Blending. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to blend honey. I'm going to start blending. Blending honey. 
open these really well. Let's get something really nice, clean, open up. And I like to, like I said, I like to blend my bottom. We're not done, honey. We got way more. Yeah. Okay. Well, not way more, but you, you got a lot more stuff to that. You want that highlighter stuff and then, you know, the contour to pop properly. So, I do have a Bare Minerals. Oh, it's very dirty, guys. So, a Bare Minerals um, contouring kit here. And I'm going to start off... with the excuse me so i'm gonna go in and do like my nose and stuff here first actually with a slanted brush excuse me and so i'm gonna go in and start highlighting my nose with the highlight that comes with it. it's called the luminizer by bare minerals i use the luminizer it's here it's almost running out but i use the Luminizer. You just go in. Ooh. Ooh. You see that? Do you see? Get into me, baby. Get into me. You see this? You see that? And I just illuminate my nose. Ooh. Ooh. And then I will do my cheeks. Do my cheek cheeks. Cheeky cheeks. Do you see that coming to life, guys? Look at the highlight popping. I don't like to put a lot because I'm not about to be out here looking like a tin can. Like, some people just, put, I feel like they overdo it. Like, at the end of the day, you still want to look natural. You want to look natural. And I just go in with the main big part. Kind of bring it on up there. Yeah, I'll go into your cheekbone and bring mine up. So you just, you want to bring that up. Do you see that beautiful illuminating? Do you, do you see that? Beautiful. And... Do the same thing on this side. Notice I'm like really scrubbing this in. Like I have to go and get on the makeup. And here I am trying to do a makeup tutorial. You really? You just get that real. Look at that illuminator. It just pops on the skin. It is so nice. Look at that. Just oh my god. Look at that. So you want to illuminate, honey. You want to illuminate. Tiny bit on your forehead because my forehead is. I don't know if Just a little bit. Okay, next. Once you're satisfied with what you have, you want to like I said, I'm not a professional, but I do do well for myself. Then you want to go on with the bronzer. That's what I use. My bronzer. And you want to get into here. You want to bronze those cheeks. You see? That. You want to bronze it, baby. You want that too. So what? Uh -huh, honey. Same thing on this side. You want to go in with the bronzer. And you want that too. Honey. Honey. You want it to pop, darling. You want it to pop, darling. Then I go in with the edge of my brush, the little edge here. See that edge? I go in with the edge and I just go in on my sides. 
I used to have the brush for it. Like I lost it. And it says replace it. I'm going with the size. So this right here. And luminate. I mean, excuse me, bronze. This side of the nose as well. And get that good contour going. Do you see? First impression. And I'm not even done. And then we're going to blend it in. Because blending, when I say blending is your friend, blend, honey, girls. Please blend. You don't want to be walking out there with lines in your face. And then I just go on the outer part lightly. Just lightly, a little bones right there. And then I go around the bottom and bronze a little bit. Okay. So honey, that is that. Once again, you want to blend. This is a blending brush. It's about that size. Excuse me, I dropped it. Okay, so you want to blend again. Because what blending is your friend. Honey, you want to blend. Go over and blend. 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 Blending. is your best friend. Yeah. If you open your hand, engaging is on my agenda. Request my chariot, get ya. Your door's open. And you want to take that hot road and hop in. Blending. 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 Come to visit me, she said that she the lonely yeah. Says it's hard to mm, open that's up. Beautiful. Open you up like a ball. Now I am not done, so we're gonna go and see the movie and see how it is. Okay, so I let my makeup settle a little bit before I put on my setting spray. So in the meantime, we are going to put on my lashes. And the lashes I'm going to use is these lashes I bought off of Amazon. They are um, 25 ml, so they're super dramatic. I don't like dramatic lashes at all. So, but we're gonna do them because I paid for them. I don't like them, but I paid for them. So I'm gonna put those on because I feel like makeup's done. I'm gonna do these really big dramatic curls in my hair and see how that look comes out. So this is what we're doing. So as you can tell, they're ginormous. Um, okay guys, so like I said, they're super long, super dramatic. Um, I am going to put on my setting spray, and like I said, this is gonna be all about drugstore products that you can use, or um, uh, Walmart, like um, normal store products that you can buy, convenience store products uh, that you can buy over the counter. So this is a Maybelline New York Lasting Fit right here you can see lasting fit by Maybelline I'm gonna use that for my setting spray and you just want to go into a circular clockwise motion and you want to put a fair amount like I put a fair amount and as you can tell look makeup is flawless gives you that nice good settling for your makeup Feel, and I'm just gonna put a little more because that's how I like. I like to. Okay. Ooh, 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 ooh. And that's why I put the setting spray on first because I'm going to do on my bottom liner. And um, first, I just don't trust any liquids moisture when it comes to liner, whether it's waterproof or whatever. So I am using the um, again. This is a Walmart liner. Easy liner for eyes. Um, it's a Jordana liner. Uh, I think you can get the name. Jordana liner. I'm gonna use this for my liner. So, one second, and I just go in and. Oh, I don't like First impression. You open. We should be close to friends. If you open. Engaging is on my agenda. Request my chariot, get ya. The doors open. Take that hot road and hop in. 
monarch butterflies, you should open up. I'm trying to put your heart together, found it broken up. Going up the smoke, smoking up. Make sure the children in the house, she's inappropriate. The way she's approaching us, I disassociate. I just told her She's close enough. Come to visit me, she said, she's the loneliest. And it's hard to open up. Open you up like a puffball. Open up. Tell you how far, puffball. Let your emotions fall. Okay, so I'm done with my eyeliner, and this is how the finished look is. I'm going to use actually the shadow that I use for my base as a shimmer. I just put regular lip gloss on. I'm gonna go in and create a shimmer for my lips. We should be close and friends if you open and you know, pretty simple at the same time. Close with your makeup. So, this again is a very neutral look, very neutral makeup look, but also very ooh, wow, cute in your face, you know. And I'm just gonna do my hair, and I'll be back. Okay guys, my hair is done. It's all straightened out. So this is the finished look to the makeup tutorial that we just completed. Get into the highlight babies.